Bernadine Evaristo, thank you so much for doing this. Let's talk about some of those books that you love or loved. Uh, first book that you remember really opening up the world of reading, where you think, wow, I can dive in and live in this world. I can't really remember a lot of my early early reading, um, except for the one book I did have, which sounds a bit tragic, but it was um, The Ballet Shoes, or Is It Ballet Shoes, by Noel Stretfield. Oh, and it yes, was a book- Noel Stretfield, yeah. Do you remember it? It was a book that was published in 1936 and it's about these three sort of adopted girls growing up in this quite eccentric household with an absent father and they are all sort of steered towards the performing arts. Clearly, it's a book that shaped me in some way because actually I would have read that probably about a year or so before I went to the youth theatre and that's a connection I just made. It's like, hang on, I was reading this book about children about my age, uh, get, going into the performance arts. Lo and behold, I go to the youth theatre and then that actually shapes the rest of my life. So, yeah. Is there a book in your life that you turn to for comfort? You're going through a difficult time. You think, oh, I can wallow in this text. There's a book called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway, which I read in my 30s, which by Susan Jeffers, which is one of those personal development books. And it's all about giving you the courage to go for what you want. What it was saying was, you know, you want, you have these aspirations and, you know, you want to get on with your life, but you are stopping yourself from doing it. So why don't you just go for what you want? Because you're still going to feel the fear anyway, whether you go for it or not. So why don't you go for it? And actually you might get rid of the fear of, of going for it. But Bernadine, those books, I always think, what's in them? Because, like, what you've just described is the title. <laughs> like, after, yeah. after you've read, after you've read Look, the title, what else is well, in there? In a way, <laughs> the, everything is in the title. You're right. But then, but then she goes on and gives lots of examples. And, you know, there is a lot of psychological complexity to, to the, the stuff of the book. And finally, a book you recommend to people because you think not enough people uh, know it. I would say Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. And I think it's very well known in America, but it's not so well known here. And she was an African-American woman writer and anthropologist. And she was just, had the most incredible life. She was a trailblazer, way ahead of her time, you know, almost 100 years ago. And this is her outstanding novel about a woman uh, growing up in a sort of um, a southern community, who is struggling for to be struggling for agency, struggling to be taken seriously, struggling to have a relationship that is satisfying, to not be dominated, to be free, to be a free spirit, and I just think it's phenomenal. And it is the most exquisitely written book, quite short, very poetic, and really important. And I think I'd love more people to engage with it. Well, that you sold me on. That yes. Okay. The, okay. <laughs> the, the feel of fear and do it anyway. No, but that that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing your book choices, Bernadine Ever- Everisto. Thank you very much for joining. Thank us. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you.